Alright, so I think we're live. Now I'm just going to go into my browser. Um, I can send it to your phone. It's probably more convenient since you're streaming from that. Just let me jump in now. I'm just going to go to my YouTube. Sorry about how long this is taking. <laughs> I was just talking to anyone that watches the video later as well, apologising for how long it's taking to get started. Um, Alright, uh, just going to go and yeah, send you the link. One second, I'll just take my ear off the phone. Just going to put you on speaker, Barry. Um, should get you there and I've just got to mute my TV now because I just realised it's talking to me. Okay, um, so there's a link. Just click on the link and it should hopefully cast to your TV. Otherwise, you can always just watch along on your phone. But I can hear you loud and clear, no trouble at all. Oh, beautiful. Then I simply tap this link. Yep, tap the link. And it should take you to the live video and you should see, it'll probably be a little bit of a delay, you'll probably hear and see me yabbering away from a few minutes ago. Uh, either one will get you there if you don't currently have a video playing. Just hit play. That should, that should get you there. Live chat. Oh yeah, you can open the live chat. Um, and can beautiful. All right, you can close the chat if you want to, but if you want to leave it open, if anyone does type anything in there, that's assuming anyone else is actually watching. Um, but we're pretty much ready to get into it now. Just hit mute on your television. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So yeah, just turn the turn the um, turn the TV sound off, and then you get to hear it a little bit before it happens on the screen. So just be aware of that. Alright, so the fish is currently sort of lined up with one of the pictures in the background, so I'm just going to get in and zoom in and out a bit, and that's going to give you an indication of when um, you're up to date, if that makes sense. So you'll see the fish zooming in and out. And then um, I'm going to start getting stuck into it. So we basically want to beef up the forehead um, a, a, a bit. It's not a lot, it's, it's just a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a copy of that one. And I'm sort of gonna, gonna kind of cheat a little bit, hopefully. And sort of just move the copy up a little bit and then kind of magnetically attract the forehead up to the other position and see how that goes. It's gonna take a little bit of bashing and sculpting to get it to shape, but I think we'll get there. Um, hopefully it only takes, you know, half an hour at the most to get this how you want it. So, from, from memory, you're completely happy with the rest of the fish except for the, um, the hole in the tail. We want to close that up. No, no, no. 
Oh, okay, I thought you wanted to um, close it up and then pop it back in again once we'd scaled it. Yes, and also possibly for a larger scale version as well. Yep. Yep. Cool, cool. So yeah, so I can I can just um I'll, what I'll do is I'll work on the head first, then I'll come in with that model and I'll just delete that hole and fix those lines on the tail up so that they blend back in. Yes, okay, I'm waving the mouse over that section now, so you'll, you'll see, if you, you can confirm in a second that I'm in the right spot, you'll see my mouse wobbling around top and bottom of the, the, the bottleneck part of the tail. So I can thicken that up as well, that's no problem. Um, and so yeah, we're basically, I'm just going to wave the mouse around the forehead now, so where we're sort of wanting to beef it up, so we're just going to beef that up there. For some reason it didn't copy when I, I was waiting for the computer to complete its task and it wasn't thinking. Cool. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to sort of make this copy of the cod, and I'm going to move it up to kind of where it needs to be. I'm going to hit accept, and I'm going to make that a different colour so it's easier to identify. And then I'm going to make it the target. So you'll see, you'll see there's a few things behind. So I've sort of made a transparent copy of it over the top there. Um, and now I'm going to kind of grab the purple fish, get my sculpting tool, and use the attract function. And... See, the thing with the scale, and we talked about the scale before, um, I, what I'll do is I'll keep the scale as it is, for now because the brush size that I get to work with has limitations. So if a model's too big or small, you sort of got to scale it while you work on it, then you can rescale it afterwards. Uh, no, I meant size scale as in like the, the ratio of size. Yeah, they're a smooth skin fish, yeah. Yeah, like a, like a catfish, sort of a smooth skin, just with a blotchy pattern. Okay, so I'm just getting the tools organized. So we really just want to sort of bring that forward. Might actually just make the target transparent, one sec. I know it's a bit hard to sort of understand what's going on here, but I'm kind of, um, I've, I'm using that other COD as like a template for this one so that I can kind of blend out the the transition between the two different heights. Now let's get the smooth tool. Did I hurt the gill then? No, I didn't. Good. I'll have to pop in some of that texture again. It's going to accidentally get smooth, but I can go back in and pop that in. Now, it's probably a little bit harsh. We're going to have to go in and sculpt this. I just needed to sort of raise that bump up a bit just to get it started. So, um... You're, how far behind do you think you are, Barry? I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this fish just spin around in circles for a second. Can you tell me when you see it just spinning around like a little tornado? Once you see that, let me know. I'm going to go back to working on it while you, while you wait. Yep, okay, so there's probably about a 10, 15 second delay. Um, I'm just going to position the fish again up against the other one. It's still not right. It's got a very solid bump that really sticks out like dog's balls at the moment, but I just want to get 
sort of I'm gonna start sort of concentrating I guess from the top down and we've got to definitely smooth out that that dent in the forehead there uh, I'm just gonna grab a different tool Good thing about this is if I bang the eyes up a little bit, I can actually copy the um, the eyes from the original model. Bring that in now, just for when we need to. Smoothing tool. It's going to make that tool a bit bigger. Still there, Barry? Yes. Yep. yep. Cool, cool. Just making sure. I think I'll also lift up the actual tip of the gills as well because it looks like they're sort of now sitting a little bit low. But I'll just get the, the I'll get the outer profile of the fish correct first. Uh, the gill plate, yes, yes, I see what you mean. The tip of that corner needs to come back a little bit and it almost needs to tilt the top bit around. That's that's quite doable. Um, we'll do that as we raise it up. And that's getting better. Um, I'm just going to line it up and position it in place again and scale it in front of that picture. It's a, it's a little bit, yeah, it's, pretty, it's getting pretty close now, Barry. Have a look at that when you, when you notice that it's still and you'll see me waving my hand to the camera as an indicator that you're up to date where I'm talking to now. That's it. It looks pretty good. Right. Yeah. Unreal. Okay, alright, so what I will do, I'll fidget with that some more in a second, but that's just sort of small minor details now, I think. Um, just having a look at the face and mouth. The eye looks okay where it is. It does, I mean, there's a few slight subtle differences there with the tip of the nose. Um, oh, it's, yeah, that's right. We've got to we've got to keep it real. We've got to um, not not waste time on details that we won't notice. All right, so let's get onto the tail then. I'm going to do that a slightly different method. I'm going to select a region. Along this tail here. I think I'll come up the back of that a little bit as well. And we're basically just going to sort of translate that up a little bit. I'm just going to pop him back in position again. Increase the fall off distance. Hold on one second, just got my housemate calling out to me. Alrighty, I'm back. Okay, so how did that go? Um, that's looking pretty good. Might just increase that a little bit more. Sorry, I'm just waiting for my computer to catch up to me. Mm 
Yes, it's a pretty powerful bit of software, this. I'm curious what software the original designer used. Um, yeah, that's the good thing about this program is it's sort of agnostic. It doesn't really matter what what something was made with. You can still edit it and modify it, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to accept that, and then I might just compare it to the original. Ah, uh, it's in the... Wait a minute. No, that's not the one we want to compare it to. We want to compare it to this one. Ah, uh, hold on. It's actually dragged that the bottom part of it up as well because of the size of the drift off area. Bring the bottom back down again now. Yep, that's easy to do. Uh, so like as in so as in expanding the tips of the fins outwards to give it a bit yep yep Yeah, yeah, see what you mean. And just bring that up into line A. You thought you would have seen me resize the photo a second ago. Yeah. Now, I think what I'll do... That's looking 100%. Yeah, I'll just zoom back out on this. I think it's, uh, I've zoomed in too much. It's hard to scale. It's hard to get the whole fish to scale. I don't want to... I don't want to stuff that up. Also got to be conscious of the roll that way as well if I have it, because if this fish is slightly curved and the one we're copying off is kind of straight, it's just a little bit kind of off. Yeah, you still, you still need to thicken the tail a little. Yeah, yeah, and it looks like it's, it looks like it's a little straighter on the top section. I feel as though the bottom's actually got the right curve to it. I'm just lining that up off the bottom now, even though, the, like, the fish is kind of pointing around all funny, but I feel like if we line it up like that, it's pretty pretty close. I feel like it's the top of it that kind of needs to come up a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's scooped in here on this one. So I'm going to get in and um, I'm going to do, 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 do. I'm going to jackhammer it up a bit, I think. Um, I'm just going to use this draw tool. I'm going to get in there and I'm just going to uh, actually no, I'm going to still use the select tool. I'm just going to do it a little bit cruder. See, I feel like I still need to raise that bit of the fin up a little bit. Because if I don't raise that bit of fin, it's going to look funny. But what I'll do is I'll, um, I won't make the fall off go as far, because before the fall off, it, it, that's kind of how far it transitions. And before it transitioned all the way, yeah, let's see, that's too far. So I need to probably just go like 4 mil or something like that. That's better. So it's not as extreme. So that's lifted it, and I've still got to just straighten out the kink a little bit here in the tail, which I'll do with the sculpt tool. Amazing. It's good software, isn't it? Unbelievable. And I mean, you know, I'm pretty talented too, but you know, I won't, I won't go on too much about that. <laughs> Tell you what, though, it's taken a while to get where I am. At first, I, you know, it used to take me ten times longer to do the same thing, and do 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 do. Go with the bubble smooth. I've got some pretty good equipment now as well, that's the other thing that's made a big difference to me life. It's having the having the right tools for the job. Yep. 
Alrighty, well, have a look at that. We haven't got into fanning out the tip of the tail yet, but if you look at just the bottleneck section of that, I feel like we're pretty pretty much sorted that out. We, we will still have to go back in and re-texturize that to just bring back our texture. Um, but that's that's more or less got that that tail thickened out to where I think it needs to be. Yeah, Alright, now... Yeah. Now I sort of feel like I feel like it needs to kind of have tips on the corners of the tail a little bit. Um, oh shit, wrong tool. That's, that's, the, that's the right word. Um, the, the, the tail on the uh, sample is very paddle-like. Mm. Now paddle-like is the shape of the tail on the Murray Cod, but it does have those those rounded tips which give it that you know which is, which is a fish tail. Yeah. With a bit of luck, I can really cheat and just sort of just tweak this and not have to completely re-texture the whole tail tip. Yep. Yep. Let's see how I go. I feel as though that's an improvement. Let's just have a little look at that compared to... Ah, oh, that, oh, that's right, we've moved that from the original position so it doesn't quite line up very well with it. But it definitely looks better. Yeah, I'm just going to line it up with our photo. Alright, and I feel like we can probably do that a little bit at the bottom, but maybe not quite as much. This photo is actually a little bit dark. Oh no, there is a, there's a little tiny white edge on his tail that actually gives me a little bit of a glimpse at it. So, I'll, and actually I feel like I can probably tweak that a tiny bit more at the very tip of that top as well. I'll just finish the top first. Yeah right. Does that distinguish them from the trout cod or the um or just no, just from? Yeah okay yep yep. No that's right yeah yep. Well, it's good working with you, Barry. I think this is going well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's uh, uh, it makes it 100 percent better. Now we'll try and straighten these lines out in a second, but we'll just get that outside shape right first, and then we'll concern ourselves with that. Just got to go up to this photo and zoom in on it a little bit. Where are you, mouse? Come back. Perfect. And the bottom is that close? 
sweet. Uh, I'll, we'll just get you up to speed. What I'll do is I'm just going to zoom out on the fish again and bring him back into alignment. And I think that's pretty bloody close. We'll probably just... Uh, I'll just go in and just check the edges and just make sure there's no sort of lumpiness on there in, along that edge. But I feel like we've very much captured that tail shape. Beauty. Oh, good stuff. Okay, all right. Well, um, now, you did talk about something about the bottom fins briefly as well, did we not? Yep. Yep. Now, hang on, let me get the actual fish out. For the um for the camera, I'll just hold that up so that people can see. So this is Barry's product here. This is um, this one's done from the original. I believe the other ones were done from wax models. Is that right, Barry? Uh, no, they were all done digitally. They were all done digitally, right? Okay. So those are the the other two fish, and here's the cod. Yes, that's right. We needed to take some weight off it, didn't we? Of the cod. Yes. Yep, of course. Yeah, that's that's right. And I, and I think realistically, it, and actually from the top and the side, I feel as though it actually looks fatter than a real cod. It looks a bit pregnant. If you look at if you're looking down from the top, I feel as though they're a little bit narrower than that in real life. So I feel like we're making it more lifelike as well. Oh yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm used to I'm used to catch them straight out of the Murray, so they they've been swimming against the current. Yep. Ah, I see, I see. So I'm looking at the model from the top now, and it does look thinner than the than the cast one. Yep, yep, okay, so we don't need to worry about that part, part, part of it, but we do need to just spread those fins a little bit wider. Yes. And I'm just looking at it now, trying to figure out which way it falls over so that we can tilt them to that, so that it's more likely to not fall on that side too. Because I'm seeing it seems to fall, it falls towards the curve, so it falls towards this side here. Like I'm just going to stand it up in, on the camera. It seems to want to fall... Gotcha, yep, sure. Well, that's happening while Barry's gone. I'm just going to quickly get the um, smoothing tool out.
You let me know when you're ready, Barry. I'm just tinkering while I wait. Cool, Barry. All right, I'm just um, halfway through sticking this hole in the tail. I'll just uh, wrap, wrap one section of this up quickly. Okay, that bit. That's the good bit. And now, yeah, stop me. Where were we up to? No, I did, we did want to just fix up this gill raker a little bit too, didn't we? Where, where were we up to, though? Where were we, we were doing the, the fins at the bottom. Yep. Now what I feel, Barry, I feel as though the fish wants to fall over. I'm going to show you which way it seems to want to fall. But we, this is with the plumper model, so that may have changed. But I feel as though it wants to do this. It wants to tip over that way. So you'll see the video. I'm waving my hand around at the same time as tipping him over. Um, it feels like it wants to tip that way. So I feel like we want to kind of bend the fish that way, but keep the fin straight. If that makes sense. So we sort of want to stand the fish, tilt him counter to how he is, but we want to keep the fins on the same plane that they're on. Um, I'm just thinking about the best way to approach that. I think I know. I just want to sort of just um, cancel that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select... Uh, first of all, Barry, I'm going to go save as. I'm going to go... Sam edits two, save, so we don't lose where we're up to. And I'm going to make a copy of that fish, as it is. If my computer behaves itself. Come on computer. There's a copy. Okay, so what I'll do, I'm going to make a selection. That wasn't good. To isolate these fins. Hopefully that flips my selection. Now I'll be able to 3D print this and test the balance. And in theory it should be the same whether it's in plastic or metal as far as its centre of gravity goes. Um, so hopefully that works. And fingers crossed, this is just a simple operation where I get to just tilt it a tiny bit and that just works. Because I feel like the, the the bottom fins being a tripod shape, that bottom fin will still balance on that. <coughs> and um, yeah, the other two fins should stay where they are and hopefully that won't make a weird transition. My computer's just thinking really hard about this at the moment. Hopefully it's not going to be a problem. Sometimes you have to be careful with your selection at kind of it just does funny things, this software, sometimes. 
it might not have liked where I drew the line. Do, 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 do. If you want to spruik your business, Barry, um, hopefully the people can hear what what's going on from your end. But if you want to tell people about your website and stuff like that, I can. I'll put the microphone closer to the phone, and um, yeah, just tell people about what you do. Unfortunately, so I've just had to open it back up again, and I'm going to save that again. And I'm just going to hope for the best and try that again, but with a different selection. See where tar looks right now? Yeah, I think we've nailed it. came um, out as as the first attempt there was a lot of work put into the head but I, I still when I looked at it I, I kept seeing a duck you know a duck bill attached to a duck head mm. I, um, I feel as though we can sharpen the point of the lip yes um, just harden that bit. edge a little bit to give it that sort of a hard edge yeah. Uh, th 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 this is an aggressive attack predator fish. Mm. Um, very territorial. Uh, built for survival in that it's been around now for hundreds of thousands of years, if not millions of years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll eat anything from ducks to, to oh. carp to other... Uh, uh, do they eat other cod? Do they, uh, do they, um, do they oh, eat yeah. themselves? Yep. Yep, yep, thought so. Again, we're just waiting on the waiting on the computer to catch up. Hopefully, this time it doesn't crash. But uh, interestingly enough, um, they only introduced cod into their into their um, food chain only about thirty years ago. Before that, they wouldn't eat them. Ah, interesting. So uh, they they would have had other fish to eat, or oh, mate, they you know food. They, they, they had, these animals have no trouble finding something to eat. Mm. It, would that be something like the decline of yellow belly or some other species that's led to them? Oh, between, between carp and uh, tilapia, um, those two have been responsible for the annihilation of Australian species of aquarium. Mm. Um, um, the, the carp came over as a vegetarian, hopefully to stop the irrigation problems in the 1800s in Victoria. And, uh, and from there... Um, they not only ate all of the weed out to solve the problem, but from there they started eating everything that had a heartbeat. Yeah, yep. Just like the cane toads, they brought them in trying to fix something and then stuffed everything. Absolutely. <coughs> Typical humans. Yes, we're pretty good at it. Yeah, so unfortunately this is taking a while, which often means that it's not going to like it. So I'm going to try one thing. I'm actually just going to crash the program on purpose. 
have taken forever. Well, just figure <laughs> it just crashed itself, I didn't have to. <laughs> it beat me to it. And I think what I'm going to have to do is improve the quality of the line that I just drew. Because I feel like something is not happy. Optimize the boundary. Smooth the boundary. Accept that. Switch. would give me a sort of a, a, you know, we know that those two points already touch the ground, so it would kind of give us a good, I mean the other thing I can do is bend the, the fins individually, but that's kind of then, it's more in the realm of guesswork as to where, whether it's going to balance. Because really we only need to move the right hand fin to the right if we're looking at the fish front on, so it's, it's left fin, I guess you'd say, needs to move out to the left a little bit and that will tilt it. Yeah, this is taking a while. You know, there's actually a possibility, Barry, that the hole that I've got in its arse end is part of the problem. So okay. I might just um, I'll tweak the volume on my microphone a bit. Hopefully that'll improve. Can you just say something, Barry? I just want to see if that's improved your end. What? The oh, I, yeah, I just, I just turned the mic up a little bit so that it's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Good. cool. I've Beautiful. got no trouble with what you're saying. None whatsoever. Beauty, unreal. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel this and try and um, I'll patch that hole in the tail first because I get a feeling that because it's got the hole in the tail, it's thinking hard, which it, it sounds silly, but yeah. There may be some other problem as well, but either way, we've still got to patch these bums, so I'll just get onto that. Well, it's ginormous. Still can't get over how good this software actually is.
that's pretty good. If we if we do notice that when we print it, I can do a bit more smoothing on that. But I do think that the scale we're dealing with, I think that's going to yeah. just disappear when you. Plus the hole's probably going to go back there anyway. All right, now um, let's try and tilt this guy now. I'm going to save him again. I'm just going to try and just move this one fin. Feels as though if you move it, say, that far and then blend that in, I feel like that should do the trick. That's going to transition that bend over a decent area so it won't stand out. We can't go too far, we're just going to bend the other fin. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Sorry, I've got another call coming through, I'm just ignoring it. Sorry, Nixon, if you're watching. <laughs> um, okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to assume that that's going to have moved it enough to, to work when I print it and I'll just run off a copy in resin and just test balance it and make sure it balances okay. and if that doesn't then we'll tweak that some more um, actually you know what Barry I'm going to just undo that and I'm going to do the gills first and we'll okay. get everything else to the point where we're happy with it first because then if we have to change that I, I kind of just feel like it's better to sort of, you know what I mean, get it, get all this other stuff done first. Um, yeah. So the thing we wanted to change with the gills was this top region here, wasn't it? Um, I'm just highlighting it in orange. <coughs> okay, the, the gill raker is the major gill which um, which uh, is, is bony and almost blade-like. And they're the ones that do the damage when the fish thrashes around. Yep. So it's that first one from, that's it. Yep, you've got it. So uh, it's got a, that mark you've just made now, um, it, that, that's, it's, how can I say this? Um, it's got to be more point, pointed like. If you look at the fish above it, yeah, you'll see yeah. The bottom blade. The with the, comes out. I'll stop you there, Barry, because with the delay, you'll see what I just did in one second, okay. and you'll be like, oh, that, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> just going to do a few little tilts and turns on it, just because the angle's changed slightly. I feel as though, once you see that, you'll be like, yep, bingo. Just do, I'm just going to wave to the camera so that you know that I think that it's ready and then you have a bit of a look at that and tell me what you reckon. Okay. I've just, I feel like I'll still smooth it a little bit here at the top there because it's created a sort of twisted, gnarled sort of surface texture but um, I feel as though that gill rake is in the right spot now. We can deepen that a little bit as well if we want to make it look a bit pointier. Um, wait till you see what I mean when it's, when it's there. We can, kind of, we can kind of undercut under there a little bit and point that tip yeah, a little bit more. Perfect, perfect shape. Yep. But um, a little bit more pronounced would be good. Yeah, cool. Okay, so let's grab, let's grab this whole line here. going to grab the sculpting tool and kind of cut a groove in behind it a little bit.
this actually bend down a tiny bit. It's not actually physically too sharp, I might just blunt the tiniest little bit off that. Pretty happy with that. The only thing is, I think we actually want to lift that whole bit a little bit. Oh, actually no. I think that when we turned it, it's lifted it enough. Yeah, I think we did. Have a bit of a have a bit of a look. Now I'm going to wave two hands. And sort of a, that's a pretty good side by side kind of a view. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Now, unfortunately, we don't have... Oh, I wonder if I can flip this. Picture. Edit. Please have a flip button, Mr. Photo Editor. Because if I can flip this image... Oh, come on, where'd you go? Silly buggers with me. Okay, excellent. We flipped it. That's good. Software back in order again, sorry, one sec. Okay, and mesh mix uh. Alrighty, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Now, now that, that image 
page right there. Yep. And is highlighting where the position of the eye should be, which will influence the shape of the head. Okay. Now, just to make sure that the frame hasn't moved since you said that, I'm going to wave my hand and I'm not going to move anything at all. And just make sure now I move my mouse. So you're talking about this frame where the eye is. Yeah, that that eye is far is back too far. If you just if you just drop it a little bit and have a look at the Murray card in the back. Like the yeah, I see, I see. It needs to move forward. Yes. Can you see the positioning? Yep. So both eyes probably need to move forward together. Correct. Yep. We should be able to do that. Uh, let's just knock that, that top of the gill out first, and then we'll jump onto the eyes because I feel like we should just while that's in, while that's now, in position. Just with the just with the shading of the eyes, it should sh change the whole look of the head. Yes, it will. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because yeah. it's still kind of got that duck bill bump there. That's yeah. There's something um, something here, but right there on above the nose, there above the eye, kind of thing. That's yeah, yeah not quite. Then it's got like a a, a snub nose coming down to the top bit. Yeah, that's right, yep. The top lip drops down to the bottom jaw, whereas uh, on our fish, they brought the, uh, the, the mouth back along uh, the length of the head. Mm, mm. Right, I'll just quickly jump in and paint the skill. Select. It's actually looking fairly good straight off the bat. Once you see that orange disappear, Barry, that's kind of ready for you to have a peek at as far as the gill goes. Okay. We can always make any additional tweaks afterwards if needs be. We'll get onto the eye next. I'm trying to try tilt him on the same tilt that that's on. Actually, questioning whether instead of moving the eyes forward, whether we need to move the nose back. Um, I would, I would say yes to that. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking that that's kind of, kind of where part of the problem is. Um, yes. Yes, you're right. Because if, if you sort of look at from from the eye to the to the forehead to the to the gill, that all looks pretty good. But then the tip of the nose just kind of needs to have that bull, bull nose effect. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it almost sort of needs like a little slice taken off it, like here. Yeah, bull nose it, and then the angle of the mouth has to drop down. Kind of like that. We'll grab the sculpt tool. It's going to be conscious of keeping that good from both sides as well. Yeah, yeah, it, it's got a, it's got a lot to remove, doesn't it? Mm. 
might even be able to sort of just grab the whole front section and shove it back a bit, just quickly give that a save. That's made a pretty big difference there. So let's have a bit of a lining up here. Yeah, this changes completely, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's still not quite. Right. It's still not quite right, but something's. No. This to scale, so it's a bit just scaling is a weird thing. You sort of, um, because of the tilt, you know, you can sort of throw yourself off quite easily. Yeah, bear with me, you can just toggle that visible and invisible. I feel as though the mouth needs to kind of tilt a little bit more and need to flatten off this bottom lip up here. Yeah, the bottom lip almost has a hook like a very a very slight hook to it as it as it points up to the top lip. Yeah. And then that line the line of the mouth needs to drop down a little bit like do you see that the light of the mouth needs to drop down <laughs> let me spin back around yeah like the yeah that's right the angle like the angle needs to change doesn't it yes it's kind of like he needs to the back part here I'll, I'll wave the mouse around this back part here needs to kind of purse his lips a little bit and then it bends upwards on an angle yes so yes. i kind of need to close this bit here hang on i'll get the move tool and, and, and he's got, he's made that lip a definite lip, whereas you look at the, the image of the actual fish and you can see that it's got a, a, like a structure to it. Yeah, yeah, the bone inside and the little crease. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yes. And, and then the, there's no need for that cheek, like the, where the mouth ends, he's got like that lumpy, cheeky thing there. Um, this, the jowl kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That kind of almost and needs to... you can to... see that he's got like another gill plate that drops down from under the eye down to the corner of the mouth. Yes, yeah, up along that groove that needs to kind of come in here. Yes. I feel like I'm making a bit of a difference in the right direction there so far. I'm just going to give him a wiggle from side to side. And yep. up and down and then have a bit of a look at where we're at with that. Right. Let's try and get this menu to go away, hold on. There we go, got rid of the menu. We might still need to bring his eye forward a little bit, but I feel like we're... I, I think so, yes, uh, a little bit. and. The nostril needs to be made smaller, I think. Yeah, it's too prominent, isn't it? Yeah. What I'm conscious of is just being careful not to make this asymmetrical while we're at it. Um, so we'll go back into our... Yeah, 
actual fish. If you take the eye forward, it's got a, it's, it's got to be a vertical line straight down to the corner of the mouth. Uh, hang on, sorry, I'm just having technical. I, I made a copy of this bloody photo, and I don't know where it's stored it on me. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, um, I need to knock this top with a little bump of his nose down as well, but let's try moving the eyes forward first. I think they're a bit too bulgy too, they can be reduced by about a third, I think, the bulginess of them. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Something forward first. smoothing around that area. Now we're gonna shrink the nostrils, don't we? We've got to do some corner of the mouth work on that side. Still not quite happy with this, but we're getting there. Um, I'm going to harden that top lip corner a little bit and try and push this a little bit back up.
Så vet. Ja, jag So we've got more wiggle room to play with. I wish I knew how to move the lighting in this program. <coughs> Sometimes it puts a shadow right where you want to work. It's not bad from the side view. I don't think it's quite right from the front view, but I think we're getting pretty close from the side. Yeah. I feel like this area here needs to be kind of tucked in a bit though. Like it's kind of sticking out sideways too much. Open me as kind of good. Hmm. <coughs> Try and rotate the model to the same angle as that one. It's 
actually ironic how close that is. Yeah. See that with the now, now just sort of wave my hand there, you can see it's, it looks like it's at a pretty similar angle. Maybe it's not that bad. I sort of thought that this bit across the front being that bit square was a bit funny, but I guess come to think of it. Nah, uh, that's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we just need to just go in and touch the other side up and, um... <coughs> let's get to that photo. Yeah. Yep. We'll just, we, we can continue to tweak it. Now, um, just... Basically, the, the good thing about doing this on YouTube is it's going to keep track of exactly how long we've spent on it, which is kind of convenient. Mm. So you're happy with um, spending this much time so far, obviously? Otherwise, we're going to stop. Got to get it right. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, get it as close to right as we can. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. What, I, what I'm going to do is go into production with a small amount. Yep. And then, and then take it to the market, and I'm not going to say a word. I'm just going to sell it. Yep. And, and wait for the comments to come back to me. Yes, to see what people what people think about the the, the yeah. shape and the yep. Yeah. Yep. Just and I don't, I don't think there's going to be any complaints given the size of it, you know. Yeah. One sec. I just got to knock on the door. Yeah, look, that's looking pretty bloody good, really. No, nah, Liam just left to go and do some work. Yeah, all right. I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll write this up and take a break. And yeah. um, I'll, get, I'll be out there for a sec. I just had some friends arrive. I'll just get this to a good point to save it. And then um, I'll give you a call back in. I'll just have a quick break and then get back to it. Okay, no problem. Cool. All right, so um, yeah, basically just want to get this lip sorted out and get that kind of back to that. And we've still got to do that extra crease. But I'd like to try and work as symmetrically as possible, so I'll um, kind of bend that around first, because if you do too much, I mean, not that the fish was perfectly symmetrical in the first place, but nah. if we sort of stuff around too much before we get everything cinched up, All right. it gets a bit trickier. Uh, move tool. I kind of shuffled this. All right, mate, look, I'll, I'll hang up and, and you you shut down and do what you got to do, then give me a call when you're coming back online. Will do, Barry. All right, mate, I'll talk to you in a sec. Thank you. To everyone else that's watching, if there is anyone watching, thanks for joining. And I will take a short break and get back onto this afterwards. So we'll get this to a good little point to stop. We've still got some work to do on the corner of the mouth here, but I'm going to take a break. So I'm going to stop the stream, and I will do a part two to go along with this video. Alrighty, um, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Let's just line that up. So we covered a few things in this little video.
know where to stop. 